Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about motors or actually reviewing motors and it's these motors here. They're from iFlight. They're called the Shing 2207 2750 KV. As you can tell, they have these like blue purplish metallic uh, camouflage theme going on for them, which is really nice. It's not too girly. I mean, they look really good in real life. I don't know how the camera is going to capture it, but they look really nice. So that's a huge plus, you know, just to have nice looking motors here. Windings look really great, really good actually. There is no balancing glue anywhere, so that's a huge plus. Emacs lately, I've just been seeing a bunch of that balancing glue everywhere. Here, they're really clean all around. You don't see any of that, which is really good. For C-clips, they're not using C-clips. They're using two millimeter screws, hex screws right here. So if you want to remove the bell to clean it, you know, you land it in mud, you land it in sand, whatever, you can easily do that, which is really nice. Uh, it is a naked bottom motor, as you can tell right here. Reduces weight and keeps the motors overall possibly cooler. So, how did these perform? Now, I've used the Shing motors, uh, the 2206, 2450 KV. I think they were the 2206. And to be honest, I was very disappointed. And they were used on this quadcopter as well, because this is the motor testing quad. However, these motors are way better. I mean, if I didn't know what motors were on here, I would say they were probably some T motors that were on here that I'm flying, like some F40s or something. That's how good they were. They had the, the torque was there all, uh, all throughout most of the throttle range. Uh, if I were to get into a sticky situation, I can see myself easily pulling out. Now, it is a powerhouse like i mean it just sucks a lot of amperage if you're up in you know above 70 percent throttle it'll eat your battery up um so i did a lot of aggressive runs to come down and see how well the motors were doing it's somewhat of a decent tune so we'll see how well they handled and they actually handled pretty good they came down very cool the battery was a bit toasty so they can suck a lot of amperage so keep that in mind um now they can be efficient as well if you just you know fly really you know, easy. Uh, any motor would be efficient, especially with higher KV motors. Theoretically, with higher KV motors, you can get a bit better efficiency if you're not using the top end of the throttle. Um, now, saying all this, how did they perform? They performed, uh, to be honest, I would consider them possibly like a T motor in the air. Uh, the overall performance was totally there, and it's, I guess, would be considered an okay purchase for the price of it, because, you know, their pricing is almost as premium motors. And these ones do perform that way, and I, I really, uh, actually, I really like these motors. They're, they're really good. Now, in terms of longevity, I can't really answer any of that stuff for you. That, you know, unless I'm using a motor for a very long time. But again, this is a motor testing quadcopter. And some of the specs on this, if you haven't watched my channel, it's using the Hollybro Metal 4-in-1 ESC, uh, the Hollybro F7, and the Atlatl, I think VTX is what it's called. This camera I really hated, but actually I'm starting to like it now. I was just too lazy to change it, but you know, now, well, I mean, it depends on the weather really. Like today was really sunny and shiny and um, it, it just looked great. It was, it was really awesome. So I really did enjoy it. So yeah, I'm not thinking of replacing this camera anytime soon unless I break it. So back to the motors, they perform really good. I'm gonna leave you guys the flight footage you decide for yourself and I'll have the links down below. Please check those out. Those greatly support the channel. And I also do have a Patreon if you can support me there. I do have a lot of awesome fun projects on the way and until next time. Peace out, guys.